I don't remember a, like a specific time or a trigger that said, oh, I'm supposed to do medicine because it's what I've been wanting to do for as long as I can remember as a child. Jessica Fernandez. So I was nervous, it was white coat, you're meeting new people, and but I was mostly excited. <laughs> My name is Jessica Fernandez. I was born in uh, Caracas, Venezuela. So I came here when I was 13 years old. My mom and dad wanted to give me a better future and my potential would be seen here. I know mine's a very visible disability, so people would think like, Jessica, like it's obvious. But um, the way I feel inside, it's not obvious to me. I've always felt um, like anybody else. I was diagnosed with spondyloepiphyseal dysplasia. With the diagnosis, you know, it comes to different things like scoliosis, kyphosis, chronic pain every day, and, um, but that doesn't stop me. I put it in the back of my head. I'm small, but I feel big. <laughs> I met someone who told me one time, they said, the only true disability is having a bad attitude. It, because if you have a good attitude about everything, you can conquer whatever you set in your mind to. She always decided what she wanted and when that, what she didn't like it. Just very, very clear about that. And she was always a leader in her school. Me and my mom specifically, we, we've always had this kind of um, friendship. My mom is everything to me. What tests she has taken, what activities she's doing, what applications she's doing. We share that information, so I'm always up to date that we are only at the beginning of this journey. I never thought that I was gonna be part of bringing awareness to people with disabilities. People with a disability always bring forward a new perspective. Sometimes it's not about the physical work that you do. Sometimes it's about what else you bring to the team, like encouragement, compassion, and positivity. And I have to say that her classmates adore her, and she's gonna be a great doc, and she's gonna be a great role model. Jessica has a light. It's kind of like a, a bulb that will never, ever expire. In describing how she works with her team, just drew a picture for me about the value of people who see things differently. It took me a really long time to even accept my own disability, but as the years have gone by, I've really come to terms with who I am. My journey has been pretty hard. So I wanted to make it easier for other people. People sometimes fear what they don't understand. So when you sit with them and you explain to them, when they see your openness to answer those questions, you just break that barrier right then and there. What really helps a person is when you say, I struggle too, and this is how I struggled. And they didn't tell you, I'm struggling with that as well. My number one priority is really to help people see see who they are um, inside. So if that means me being vulnerable all the time, then so be it. <laughs> She's flying. She doesn't need me anymore, really. She has uh, enough wings to go by herself. And that is what it makes me very, very proud. <laughs> Uh, both combined a uh, combined program in pediatrics as well as physical medicine and rehab at Thomas Jefferson University. So now that I get to do them both, I am just incredibly thankful.